left side, we see um, uh, we've seen Team Covenant click trackers, and of course, as we all know, Team Covenant uh, hates Netrunner. Um, all right, so we uh, we install, install, we take credit. I'm not sure that he knows what's what's going on here. Uh, we see an architect. Nice architect fire right off the top. <clears throat> really, really nice. Oh, this feels good, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not sure if this deck... Uh, let's take a look. This deck is not running any Chrysium Grids, um, and the Ice Suite is not particularly strong, in, at least in the early game, against oh, Siphons. Wow. And, uh, and we see an agenda already peeled. Okay, okay. Uh oh. Um. So we see a keyhole in the bin. He can perhaps get that back later. Uh, but he's just doing, choosing to uh, money up this point with a liberated account um, to be able if to. If I recall, I believe Dean has a copy of. Retrieval one. Yes, so the one retrieval one. In case he needs a restart or a re. Uh, that's something that you need can to do. He needs to retrieve it at some point. Uh, I think he's got more than the one keyhole, though, doesn't he? Yeah, he's got two. And he's got one in hand, so whatever. Mm -hmm. He's fine. So one and an inject. Ah, seeing so him making an entrance, boy strike. All good cards. Alright, alright. Fire it up. <clears throat> He just credit up. Hey, Jack Maid. Yeah, I believe that the uh, the deck that Luke is running uh, is um, is actually pretty <coughs> close to the ones uh, the one that you guys used over. Uh, and I'm not. I can't remember where you guys are from. I'm very sorry. Wow, he tosses your retriever one. Seems that he doesn't need uh... and install in the remote. Resident Stall Moon. Yeah, more like no game credit. Germany. Germany. All right. Uh, install. Oh, that might be a Sensei? Or CVS? No, oh, not a no, CVS. No, you don't show that. <laughs> All right, so what's he looking at here? He's got Mars for Martians. He doesn't want yeah. that just yet. Look at uh, that. Sure, Gamble. He's got the Apocalypse. Yes. Yeah. He doesn't think the Mars for Martians is going to be important. No, I don't think so. And, uh, and the fact that he's not seeing the siphon now um, means that it's not going to be. It's not going to All be right, that's for cool. Some time. Don't even liberate it. That's just want, interesting. Doesn't even want to draw into that money. Maybe he doesn't want to take an actual click to draw it and play Maybe. it. That Maybe. Seems, that seems nuts. That's crazy. Okay. That was Mars that for Martians, indeed, yeah. Indeed. Free Mars is legal. And then and Dean isn't just playing some illegal deck. Draw? And he just draws. Oh, yeah. there it is. Wait, well, there, it was amongst those cards, so he's got it. I'm confused about Mars for Martians now. I think it's more like when he starts gaining a bunch of tags on himself, he can... Uh... I guess he just figures that the money he's going to make off of second runs is going to be sufficient. For, <coughs> for sure. I think what Dean wants to try to do now is just find a uh, Century Breaker and a Berry Breaker as soon as possible. But I don't think he saw any of that on the top. Uh, well, I mean, finding a Century and a Barrier Breaker, I think he's only running one of each. So, like, he's got an Eater. Or find an Eater. Yeah. yeah. The Eater's the more likely wow, thing. Wow, the Blind Siphon, eh? So, he's going to put his money down for sure. Okay. Oh, wow. So, if he gets two Architect Fires here. This, this is... Th you just check out. No, no, you just check out. Maybe. The first one. Oh, yeah, that's fair. Well, maybe he wants the X. Maybe he wants it that bad. No. No? Never you would want to do that. But this does this does proc Estelle to a point where he's able to recover. Yes. This is fantastic yes. for yes. him. I mean, it was going to... Um, We've only had one player on stream play Blue Moose, and they um, gained about 24 points. Yeah. 27 players today. Um, I'm not sure who's got the buy this round. Not that it matters. 
French Sandeep. Oh, I, that's not what I meant. Uh, okay, but apparently it's Sandeep. Um, you just check out, right? Oh my um, god. Three <laughs> counters on a Selma. <laughs> Oh, he is letting them both oh. fire. He, just, he wants to take that last credit. He wants an access. But I don't get it. He just gained a bunch of the credits back with a... Uh... Um, no? I'm not sure what's going on here. I'm not sure what his play is, but um, certainly we'll... Uh, uh, okay. we'll... I don't know. I'm just um, curious myself. Yeah. Uh, it seems like a very... Uh, I mean, Orthodox. it'd be very interesting. Because like, he definitely doesn't have an agenda. If, um, if Luke actually put an agenda out onto the table and protected it with a Fairchild 3. Because he would be able to protect it. But he can break it. He has, fair, he has Black Orchestra in the heap. Oh, fair enough. Fine. Okay. So oh, he's trying, trying to APOC. Yeah, this okay, works. Okay, that's great. Except Architect cannot be trashed. Yeah. Oh dear. That's that's really bad. That. Um, oh, what is he installing here? What is? Why does he? Is this before the run? It must be. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, that's going to stop it. That's going to stop this Apocalypse run. But I don't... Like, Apocalypse doesn't get rid of Architects, no? Sure, but it does get rid of all of this board state. True. So that was very advantageous for, for Luke. Oh, yeah. Um, well, it might have been too late, but uh, Dean allowed it, and uh, I'm not entirely sure, but if Dean, like, Dean is a, is, is a serious player, and uh, I'm, I'll leave Dean to fend for himself. Now, unfortunately, uh, if Dean were to ma have made that archives run incredibly quickly, yes, um, Luke can argue that he was not given ample time. Yes, um, and I think he could possibly win that argument. Um, what? Wait a minute. Oh, okay, okay. He's advancing the wrong card. Scoring Vitruvius, not with an extra counter. And oh, it's because he's just gonna friends. That 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 works too. Yep. Um, and you get your ETF credit, don't remember, don't forget. There you go, bud. Um, that that is fighting Walloon, you you do make a good point. Uh, unfortunately, uh, saying action a lot. Um, is uh, that yeah. it's tiring. It's, yep. It gets tiring. You have to make you have to make a few assumptions. Um, I think it's best um, if you are going to make a critical play where a player you believe a player might be able to react. You simply uh, give uh, you give a moment. You take a moment to think. You take like a good three four seconds, and it's clear that the player's not doing anything. Then you make that run, and you have given them ample time to uh, use the window. Um, I that that might be true. Fighting Moon. I I I believe that there are a. I, I'm not I'm not familiar with Conquest, but in Netrunner there are an incredible number of ability, paid ability windows. So this is uh, this is really good. So a siphon will land. Um, oh. Oh, beautiful. This is gorgeous. This is incredible. He's going to get 
even more value out of this. You're making him loads of money. Yeah. Well, the thing is, seeing the architects that early is good too, so that you know you don't have to worry about them later. Sure, sure. I mean, it's you've done all the worrying you have to do. <laughs> <laughs> but if uh, he's he's had four architect fires this game. Yes, um, he has. And I mean, architect firing two years ago was huge. Architect firing now with an Estelle Moon on the table is massive. Yes, for sure. So we're gonna trash this. Um. I mean, friends are going to bring it back soon enough. Yep. So this deck, like, um, like Moons, presents the runner with a little bit too much to do. Um, meaning that they either have to choose to challenge the board state. Yep or choose to set up. And in both cases, uh, you do lose tempo. You either lose you either lose the tempo that allows you to create a create a, a, a rig that can challenge the rather beefy ice that you start to deck run, or you also you lose the tempo. Um, uh, it, not losing tempo, but you allow the court the tempo to create a board state that simply uses, the simply, simply wins them the game. Are you referring to advanced assembly lines? Because um, they were they paused in there before Dean went to go ahead and trash the Jackson. He used it then. I believe he may have. Um, he, I'm. I didn't catch it. Yeah, it's, it was just a little off the screen, but I that's see. what happened. Like he. <clears throat> Keep on mooning. Mooning every day. Oh, man. Stall? Yep. We've got some advanced assembly lines behind a piece of ice. Cheap. Be interesting to see uh, that be contested. So, Dean, knowing Dean, he's not afraid to let architects fire over and no, over and over he'll again. Let it um, <laughs> he will let it happen. He'll let it happen. Not <clears throat> sure it's the right play all the time, but. Okay, so siphons are going to be a lot harder to line now. Yep, yep. Uh, which is going to choke um, his economy greatly. So we've got a number of what are essentially dead economy cards in yep. his deck. So now we're finally seeing that liberated, that he, one of which he tossed earlier, hit the table because he knows he's going to need this money to uh, challenge a board state a different way. So I think this is the perfect time for Dean wanting to do uh, making an entrance so he could toss a bunch of the conspiracy away. They may, yeah, that would be ideal. Um, as long as he's actually drawn through the, the the bulk of his last making entrance, and I believe that he has. Yep. This is I, his I really, really like making an entrance, but I often find that it's my 46th or 47th card, so I'm glad he was able to put, the, put that in. It does uh, help accelerate his entire game plan for sure, quite a lot. For sure. And there are a number of, uh, of cards that are, are Look at the interesting dead. neutral gen. Uh, Shadow Nest, yeah. 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 Well, I mean, that's how many more seconds, right? That's right. Making an entrance. Oh, I don't see any conspiracy. Oh, I see one icebreaker or something. Uh, we've got eater. eater. Uh, they do shadow net. I've had worse a day, a day job. job. So, I don't think you need a day job. Um, I think you do. I don't think he's making money otherwise. Because this Keeps isn't them all. because this isn't quite as spammy for assets. He doesn't need the money to actually challenge the assets. Wizard should be sufficient. Yep. However, to actually break the ice, um, he's not going to be able to challenge the, the money that. Luke has yeah. um, with a, with the count siphon. It's not the way that he wants to. Meaning keyhole runs will actually become very expensive because he's actually going to be able to res those RNG ice. Do you think Dean's going to want to try to do a, a, a siphon next turn? Um, maybe he might siphon simply to reduce his credit pool, mm. not to actually land the siphons. Yeah. Um, 
All right. And Biotic, we're going to get yeah. another score here, which actually... Um, so, he's not actually a good position to be Siphon because of the SL Moon. He's going to have to challenge the SL Moon before he can land That's a proper right. Siphon. That's right. Um, because we've got um, six credits out. And uh, with that... I think we go after this. With the efficiency then. committee here, all he needs is a few shipments from Sans Sans, and that GFI is on the table. Yeah. This is this is a crucial, crucial. Wow, he does it right game. now. Interesting. All right. Deja vu for Siphon. Right, like gotta go for it. It's probably the best time for any. So I believe Dean's game plan is actually to uh, pour with Siphon and then just key hold him to the... Alright. So, six. He's not going to res any of it. That's... Well, I guess he doesn't want to go broke. No. A lot of agendas in Luke's hands. Um, yes, but he's really close to being able to close this game out. So let's think about what he needs to do. Uh, if he install, advance, gains the clicks. He's got, if, he, if he has two uh, shipments, he wins the game. I mean, he only has one. Or a biotic. A biotic would also do it. Right. And I think I think that this is what Dean knows. Dean knows that he's simply a few biotics away from winning. That's right. And that's why the that's why the the economy needs to go away. Yeah. So um, gain three. And last click is something. Now he's got enough money to actually um, actually maybe do it. Yeah. Maybe do, uh, cause an apocalypse to happen. <laughs> And that's going to force a black hole to run stall. Do you do it now? Um, I'm surprised he just didn't keyhole. And that's another sand sand in the bin. Yep. And here, here goes the apocalypse. Wait, he, he does. He, he gets to see them, but he doesn't get to access them. Right. But this is this is so good. He's still got so many ice out, out there. I mean, MK Ultra will do short work of them for sure, but now this is the game. This is a game. Um, oh, man. But HQ is where some of these juicy pieces are. Yep. He's and, never going to win the HQ. And he's never actually going to access. He's got two shipments. I think Ooh. he's got the game, I think. Five. <clears throat> Advance. Advance. Gain enough clicks to use. Uh, yeah. Good game. Well played, Luke. Well played.